Well, Manny, you took the words right out of my mouth. Definitely going to continue to see that sun. Might notice again some of those passing clouds, but otherwise sunshine takes over as we remain quiet. This is a live look out of NIU. We're still seeing some of those puffier cumulus clouds off into the distance, but continuously also seeing the blue skies, the sunny rays soak them in. We do end up seeing cloud cover returning into the overnight hours and into tomorrow. Otherwise, temperatures were slowly reaching for those 40s. As of right now we're at 38 degrees in Rockford, 36 in Sublette, 35 in Monroe, and we're going to stay in those 30s for just a little longer. A lot of us will break into the low 40s, and again, this time of year, we want to be right around 33 degrees, so still above average despite a little bit of a cooler day compared to at least yesterday. We're going to hang on to that sunshine and a little bit of cloud cover mixed in, but again, still dry. So all you'll need for today is a warmer jacket and those sunglasses. There's 40 degrees for you by two o'clock. Then we start to cool things off. We fall to about 31 degrees by eight o'clock. So a little bit cooler this evening as we continue to drop into the 20s. If anything, you might notice just a light breeze, especially throughout lunchtime and into the early afternoon, really within the next few hours. Winds may gust near 15 miles an hour as we again still reach for those low 40s. Once we hit them, we start to cool off. We drop into the mid to upper 20s. A little bit of cloud cover will join us. You'll see some sunshine early and then cloud cover will continuously move in. It's not until late Wednesday do we see some light rain move through. Further north you are, the better chance you have of some snow mixing in, if not completely transitioning to light snow showers early Thursday. We get a brief break, but then the pattern sticks with us as we get another chance for snow Friday. That will bring us a better chance for widespread potentially accumulating snow as your temperatures will cool off. We'll be closer near freezing by the end of the week. Here's what that first round looks like on future track late Wednesday. You could see the rain showers moving through and a lot of this also overnight. So here's 1230. A lot of us in bed that activity moves in. We'll see those rain showers closer to I-88, but the closer you get to about I-20 in the state line, that's where we'll see some of that mix occurring. Then temperatures continue to drop. This is closer to 5 a.m. Thursday, seeing some heavy snow along that state line into southern Wisconsin, and a lot of this starts to exit. This is about 7 o'clock in the morning, so as we're getting ready, getting our Thursday started, heading out the door, you might still see some of that uh, activity with us, but if anything, it might just see slick roads, slushy accumulation possible, especially further north. We're dry for the rest of Thursday. Another chance for snow by Friday. That'll give us a better chance of accumulating snow as well as the temperatures stay near freezing. So keep that in mind, but we still got some sunny days to enjoy, especially for Valentine's Day, but the cloud cover will continue to move in. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, once those systems move in and out, they'll take with it the cloud cover. We transition back to sunny skies this weekend, still in the 30s, but not for long. We're right back into those low to mid 40s starting Monday, and it looks like they take us through most of next week. Manny.